my name is uh, Ilko van Anken. Uh, I'm uh, originally from Holland, uh, but uh, I do now work in Italy. I'm a group leader at uh, San Raffaele. We work on the unfolded protein response, which is a stress pathway in cells that uh, keep track of uh, whether the secretory pathway uh, is uh, in good shape and uh, dependent on, uh, on the need of the secretory capacity, cells will adapt and this particular st stress pathway is, uh, is the way of how cells can regulate this. What I am looking at is how the circuitry of the response works. Now, the better we understand how the circuitry of the response works, the more likely we will understand what the real pathogenesis is in those diseases that are linked to this particular phenomenon of uh, uh, fluctuations in secretory protein. When uh, cells have to start to produce a lot of protein, they have to secrete that when this goes wrong, you can get disease. A clear example is, for instance, diabetes where the cells that have to produce insulin uh, can get into a state where the, the stress pathway that has to orchestrate, if you wish, the volume of the secretory capacity is no longer functioning well. These cells in the end will succumb and uh, then they cannot produce any insulin anymore, of course, once they're dead and the patient in question will develop diabetes. But also in other diseases, the same stress pathway uh, may play important roles. For instance, in neurodegenerative disease, it can be that uh, a misfolded protein will cause havoc in the endoplasmic reticulum and in the end will lead to a response that now uh, turns, turns against the patient, if you wish. Uh, in the end leading, for instance, to neuronal uh, damage. And uh, in that case, for instance, we want to slow down this particular response. Mm -hmm.